A black serpent lived near a river bank. In the hollow of what was called the big tree. The serpent enjoyed his youthful life thoroughly. But when old age came, he found it difficult to find his food. So he thought of a plan to trick the frogs. One day, the king of frogs saw the serpent lying coiled by the bank of the river. The frog inquired, O、oh, king of serpents, are you not well? The serpent slowly opened his eyes and spoke, O、oh, king of frogs, Mine is a sad story. But who will believe a serpent? Open your heart to me, if that would help. I will believe every word of yours, if it's worth believing. During my youthful days, I was quite a wild thing. I had killed a man's son, and he cursed me that I have to carry loads of frogs on my back across the river. And only that will undo the curse, sobbed the old snake. The king of frogs took pity and took a ride on the snake's back. One day, when the frog was taking his ride, he noticed that the serpent was moving very slowly. The king of frogs inquired, What's the matter with you, friend? Why are you moving at such a slow speed? Brother, I haven't eaten anything in days. Said the snake. Friend, you have been of great service to me. So I will allow you to eat one frog every day. Offered the frog. The serpent was very happy thinking that he had succeeded in his ruse. He had one frog every day. And his old age did not bother him anymore. But even the king's treasure will exhaust if spent extravagantly. The same happened to the frogs. The river soon became devoid of frogs. And one day the wicked serpent did not spare the king of frogs too.